I'm fat and I'm whack. Good morning to you guys. Today's a special day because today we're going back to the junkyard. One of my favorite places to go. Not because of the the old cars, just because I like the I love the drive and PA has very beautiful scenic views. We're back at it again with a fool does. They got two hours of freaking sleep. They came late. It's like 7.30. We're supposed to be on the road by 7. Wow. Jesus Christ. Big difference. And then, New York time. And then he wants a cutter. <laughs> One of the reasons I love Pennsylvania, I think this is uh, New Jersey still, right? Yeah, still Jersey. Well, uh, one of the reasons that I love the countryside is because of this. Look at how beautiful that looks. All those cows in that mountain. It's like really nice. It's a beautiful day in Zimundo. One of you guys live around here and know where this is exactly. Comment down below and hit that like button. At the same time. At the same damn time. Yeah. Get two mouses or something. I don't care. Make it happen. <laughs> Dude, what's your take on those clickbaity thumbnails? Huh? The one. What's your take? What's your opinion on those uh, clickbaity thumbnails that, pe that people put? It's like, oh, I can't believe this is what happened. And you watch the video and he basically just got off his car and said hi to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, they make it seem like there's such a big event happening in your video. You click on it and then disappointment. Yes, I know what, yes, okay. So what I think of it is that YouTube is a, is a hungry market. Okay. There's a lot of competition. Okay. Even if you have good content, sometimes you won't get views because you, you don't have the subscribers or you don't have views. So people generally click away or don't want to click on your video if it doesn't have views. And that's like one of the reasons that the, the top stays on top. Because even if they have whack content, they're still on top, people are still going to watch it. Why? Because they're known. So, for little guys like me, I should be doing clickbait titles all day long. You will be or you shouldn't? I will be doing. Look, we're in Pennsylvania. I think we're... we're is it? 262. If you live around this area, if you're watching my videos, give like. me a like. Oh. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. God damn it, you like... <laughs> I have to, I have to like get... Home. Damn! Let's see, if I can get 10,000 views on all my videos, that would be great. That would be awesome. I could quit my job flipping burgers. Literally. He gets the burger, <coughs> he turns it around and flips it. And then I eat it. That's my job. I'm fat and I'm I, whack. I, yeah. This video is supposed to be like a car channel. We're just rambling for 20 minutes. It's not 20 minutes. Hold up. Pause the video. Don't you hate it when people do that crap when they vlog and they are big YouTubers and, and they do this? Like, how do you get to that much freaking subscribers and you do something like this? Like, I, I don't get it. You're gonna break the camera and try to pull the This is a real durable camera. I have my warranty. It says, do whatever you want with it. That's what she said. I don't know if you guys can see that white car over there. That's a freaking firebird in a junkyard. Come on, dog. But, yes, but how in the hell do you freaking junk a freaking firebird? That's, that has to be illegal in all states. Hatchback, how nice is this? Look at this. Damn, they crashed the, right they crashed the crap talking. out of it. Look at how bad this is. Look. This is a really bad. What the fuck? Huh? This is what, what you mean when you say rice. 
So this car is a perfect example of a right start car. As we see, you can even put your hands up in that bitch. You have color wheels. You have really bad modifications, as you can see. And we're gonna see the real one. Wow. <laughs> Purple dash. Ah, damn. And so they probably were still in his shit. I was like, fuck this. I'm getting a freaking Nissan. Okay, so we're in the junkyard. They told us that we couldn't film, which I didn't know before because I sneaked in the camera without me actually sneaking it in. But how lucky, we came to get the seats. And for BMW, you need to move it back and forth, back and forth so you can take out the bolt. But we came and the seat was already outside. How lucky can you be? The it's, world works around to my favorite. It, it saved us like literally Hours. noobs because we're noobs, our hours of work. So thank you whoever, oops, I'm talking to the camera. Thank, thank you whoever did that, because you saved us a whole bunch of time. So all we need to do is just take off the seat belt bolt, and that's it. Once again, nothing has changed really. The same thing, people taking up parts. And ironically, there's a Honda Accord right next to here, which uh, I was thinking of getting, a Honda Accord. Because they're really easy to mod and fix, and they take a lot of aftermarket parts. There's a lot of them. You can make this car really unique, and you could make a lot of tunes to this car, and make it real, real fast. It's a real comfortable car. I have to say it's like one of my favorite uh, dash setups. It's like a laid back feel. Has everything there. It's like very pretty. I always like the interior of this car. Very nice. These are all the parts that we got. Got the window regulator. They got the window, original windows. We got the seat, which is the primary trip item. We got a couple of more little stuff there. And now he's trying to find a fuse box. And that's basically it. And then from there, we're gonna go to see if I can find the Montero. All of these cars were new at one point, and they're here in the junkyard. Uh, it's funny how each car has a story to tell. It's very interesting to know, for example, like what the hell happened there? <laughs> Stuff like that, which is very, very funny. But at least they're giving back to their brothers, giving back their parts that the others need so that's they still serve a purpose of course when i'm recording somebody has to pass with a freaking loud ass freaking cart typical garage people <laughs> look at look at that sky that gorgeous sky mother nature mother nature how beautiful you are okay so we're finally in the car they charged us well they charged me for the visor, for the rear spoiler, and the 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 sunroof visor, whatever they call that, and the actual sunroof glass, and the rear uh, dome assembly, twenty four dollars. So that's pretty good. Twenty four dollars. Twenty four dollars. He sent me the budget before we came over here, and it I was one hundred thousand and six a quarter. Well over a thousand dollars. I say it isn't so. Yeah, it's, I can show you. Well, a thousand something dollars, and then he came and got more than what he wanted, and he got it for a hundred and eighty-seven dollars. And okay. burned, dirty, tired, I take a shit. Oh, he's, still he just described every man in America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the best part, as I said, of coming to the junkyard is what? McDonald's, some Taco Bell. So we ordered the traditional family big fun. With the 10 nuggets, two, cheese, two Big Mac, two cheeseburgers, and two fries. 
How about that? How about that? Look at that That's view. The view, the view, the view. Oh my god. Guys, this is Canada. How many times do I have to say it? Mother Nature is the most beautiful thing on this planet. My God, look how nice that looks. Look how ugly that truck. Get out of the way, buddy! Okay, so we found out was the new Chevy Corvette Cord. I don't know if you can see it. Like, I mean, you can't see the freaking place though. We mute that shit. It's a Corvette Honda Edition. <laughs> it's a Corvette Core. <laughs> it's in a Corvette. It has 620. <laughs> very power. <laughs> it has 500 imaginary foot pounds of torque. If you see it, Hit a like. <laughs>